Hey, welcome back everyone. Thaddeus here. Uh, I'm going to have to say that I believe this is episode 10 because I was just looking at the recordings I was doing and uh, somehow I had accidentally clicked on the selector in Fraps to automatically split uh, all of my videos at 4 gigabytes. So instead of having, you know, one 20 to 30 minute video, uh, basically like every minute and a half it broke it up. So that's going to be a real big pain for me when I get into my editing. Great. Um, but uh, that's just something I'm going to have to take care of. So here we go. Let's go ahead and continue on with our uh, progress here. Just go ahead and sprint past these guys. And you know what? I still need to do something with... Uh, So this one here, yeah, okay. So I guess I didn't really have to destroy any webs or anything. Maybe it was just kind of a, a big combination of do this, do that type stuff. Or what is that? That is a dropped satchel. Okay, well, let's see what that is. What do I do with this? Hello, dropped satchel? That strange fear in group seems so suspicious. What were they trying to hide? This pack could be anything, or it could be an important clue they left behind. The Wind Whip's uniform caused more memories to whirl before you. Having grown up a nomad, unused to authority, Tai Yang had been mistrustful of anyone in uniform. However, he'd eventually changed his mind. You saw him with the dark-haired human, both in uniform, laughing and crafting their own blades. Hmm. Okay. <clears throat> so, now... A damaged diary lies buried at the bottom of the pack. It's badly damaged, almost illegible, but it looks like whoever this backpack belonged to was hoping to mount a rescue of people trapped in giant spider cocoons. Okay, I knew there was going to be something to going on with those cocoons. Now, didn't I see them up here somewhere? Now, this thing, the map is showing here. Rescue travelers from giant spider cocoon. Ah, there it is. There's nobody there. What about here? Freed Eltair. Wowza! Never thought I'd see the light of day again. Or in this forest, the light of gloom. I was trying to rescue all the travelers the spiders had captured as prey. Turns out the spiders didn't appreciate that too much. I need to get this sticky spider goop off. Meet me at the junkyard. Okay, um, is that all? Can I, like, try to overachieve? No, I guess there's no overachievement here. <gasps> Mount up! So, let's see, I am very, very close to hitting level 14 already. Hmm. Wait, 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 what is that on the ground? Oh, some kind of a fungus. Oh, look, there's a fungus among us. Oh, uh, no, I don't want to uproot. I want to harvest. Oh, because it's small. Man, some of these things are so tiny. How are you supposed to even see these things? There must be some kind of... I don't know, buff or something that'll help you to, uh... to see plants and such, I would suppose. Oh, really? You think you can get me? Shadow Hawk... What? Drobus? Hmm. Ah, yes, okay, I know where I'm at. I just hadn't seen that person before. So, man, if you want to harvest stuff in the wild, I guess you just gotta walk around and um, look really, really closely. Alright, so let's go with this one here. Did you find it? 
I assume he didn't make it, considering you're just bringing back his this book. I figured as much. Most treasure hunters meet that fate eventually. Look, I'm tracking a treasure rumored to be hidden in Tigerspine Mountains. The rest is classified. Thank you for returning the journal. I understand that the spiders are attacking Harani in the area, but I don't think you should be so quick to slaughter them. This is all caused by the Harani. They built a huge factory in this forest and have been dumping their waste everywhere, destroying the plants and harming the animals. It's silly to try and solve this problem with aggression. How much blood do they want to see before it ends? Just leave the spiders be. It's not like you can solve this by fighting them here. How about investigating the strange chests caught below the bridge? Start by improving the situation. They must have floated down river from the automaton factory. It seems strange and dangerous. You should bring one of the junkyard workers, just in case. Hmm. <clears throat> okay. It says I should bring a junkyard worker. Hmm. Okay, what is that showing on the map? Ah, the automaton factory. Got it. Okay. Um. <clears throat> we don't need any junkyard workers. Okay. Report to junkyard worker. So I got a floating chest. So they're basically tossing their garbage in the river. That's not a good thing. Okay, junkyard worker. What you got there? Let me see. Hey, this is... Why didn't you say it was an anima chest? I think this anima is still good and could be used in another machine just fine. We should have something useful around here. If you want to give this guy a new lease on life, go check some of these junked machines. Maybe you'll find a new sturdy fast, find a few sturdy fasteners. Then the old scrap dealer can hook it all up. Okay. <clears throat> I need to collect some sturdy fasteners. Of course I do. Hmm, sturdy fasteners. No, well, they're kind of in the area, I suppose. Um. Okay, that thing looks kind of dangerous. Hmm, interesting. Let me go talk to this guy first, because he's probably going to have a uh, chest for me to go... A quest for me to go and kill these things. This junkyard is mainly a disposal site for discarded machines, but when the anima isn't removed first, it can leak out and reanimate a machine that hasn't been properly disabled. Sometimes the anima gets corrupted. Sometimes the machines are angry at being thrown away like trash. Either way, the machines have been forming up and terrorizing innocent adventurers and travelers. Junkyard caretaker to Tomiris tried to stop them. But more and more machines seem to be awakening and attacking anyone who gets close. They're intelligent enough to work together, and they seem to attack mainly around 2 a.m. and 2 p.m. I'm hiring an adventurer who seems strong enough to help put a stop to their rampage. Ah, yes. Kill discarded machines. Alright. Let's do this. Since I need to go in here anyway... I need some old fasteners. <laughs> or sturdy fasteners, not old fasteners. I need some sturdy fasteners. Uh, let's see, looks like they're mostly up here. Yes, there they are.
Yeah, you know, there's one over here. I'm rummaging. Yes, I got a fastener. Let's take out a rusty detector. And it has a priest's coin purse. Imagine that. What is that? A blade wing? Sure. Oh, that was a big hit. Yes, very nice. Okay. Uh, let's see if we can find some more. This one here, junked machines. Okay, that gives me two. And that gives me three. Now I just need to kill discarded machines in the junkyard. Isn't that what I was doing? Isn't that what this guy is? Um, so these don't count? Um... It looks like that's where I'm supposed to be. Maybe not? The Clockwork Rebellion. Elite. Oh, it has to be between 2 a.m. and 2 p.m. Or no, it has to be at 2 a.m. and 2 p.m. Is that it? Yes. Okay. Well, I don't know what time it is. It is 5.30... 540. Okay, so we got got a while to wait, I guess, huh? Gods, it feels good to stretch my limbs again. I should really repay you somehow. What do you need? You name it, it's yours. Heh. <laughs> I don't suppose you have any legendary gemstones on you. Like the soul eye? You're the second person to mention that recently. Of course, the first f were the wind whips, which made sense, because they're tasked with guarding it, and it just disappeared. El Ter was determined to become your ally to repay you for saving her life. It reminded you of Tai Yang's partner in crime. The man who'd saved him from the fog assassin and later shared his uniform. History told you the man had to be Jin, who became Kyrios, the god of destruction. However, it was hard to reconcile the friendly face you'd seen with that kind of monster. All right, let's see what she's got for us. You know the Wind Whips, right? Fearin', funny hats, way too serious, guardians of the soul eye. They stashed a suspicious chest in a building behind you, then blocked the entrance with a rundown machine. If you inject the ma machine with a new anima, it will probably be able to move itself. Here's an anima injector. If you find the soul eye inside their chest, then I've paid you back for saving my life. Old Scrap Dealer. Okay, let's see what this guy's got. Functional anima detected. Commence chassis assembly process. Initiating assembly module. Please insert required components and fasteners. Insert machine anima when ready. Okay. There we go. Assembly complete. Initiating reboot. Please conduct stability and quality testing as soon as possible to prevent unexpected behaviors. Uh, okay. I don't really get what just happened there. Um, but okay. So let's talk to this guy. Junkyard caretaker, Tomiris. Good. I could use some help. I was just trying to find useful machine parts from the junkyard machines. Ah, here's where we get... Our leather... So, um, I need to kill 
I need to obtain eight useful machine parts from junkyard machines. Well, that should make it pretty easy. Oh, he was just standing there looking at it, so I took it. I certainly do not like to kill steel. Um, the guy was just kind of sitting there looking at it, so I went ahead and I took it. Alright, let's find something else here. Dude, this guy here is going to die. If I can catch him, I'll heal him. Uh, I think he's lagged out. Yeah, he definitely looks like he's lagged out. Either that or I'm lagged out. Uh, the gods have disconnected you. Check your network status and read any recent alerts. Okay, guys. Well, I'm going to have to uh, stop the recording here. It looks like this one's going to be a little bit short. But, uh, you know, the gods have disconnected me. So thanks for watching, guys. And I'll see you in the next episode once I figure out what's going on.